Lucerne Field Lab was really trying to get a better understanding of how we can graze Lucerne for long periods of time. Really looking at, could you lamb on it? Could you then graze them all the way through to weaning? And could you graze those lambs on it post weaning? It was really expanding Lucerne as an option for most of the year rather than a couple of months in the late summer, autumn. It's high demand classes of stock which you can graze on Lucerne. So our twin bearing ewe lambs, or our triplet bearing mixed age ewes. Those higher stock classes are very difficult to get to perform on a regular basis and Lucerne takes out some of the climatic factors of that. It's just consistent. It's easier for us to get that summer growth in our lambs as the perennial ryegrass is drying out and the quality is going. Particularly in the grassland world, the last few years, 18, 20 and 21, have all been quite interesting from a lack of rainfall at certain times of the year. So that's helped people to look at alternatives to grass. If you get these long spells of dry, because Lucerne can access water from further down, with a deep taproot, it's, it's got access to those where the perennial ryegrass only being a foot deep. You only need a period of dry for a month and it's dried out. The other benefit is that it has much lower inputs than a grass and clover lay. In the first year we had a comparison which was the lucerne versus grass and clover mix. And we tracked performance of U body condition score, U weight, lamb weight and also some health monitoring tools. And the main finding was actually improved the ewe lambs that were mothers in terms of their condition and weight, so helping future fertility. The sheep that are on the lucerne field weaned a condition score and a half above the sheep that were on the perennial ryegrass and white clover. So it's enabled us to lower our cost base on rearing that class of stock. We've had less orphan lambs, more consistent growth rates up to weaning. The key things we've learned from year one is that a lot of it is about sward height management and Dave's trying different sort of pre-mowing techniques this year to try and reduce the concern about transition which we also have to be really careful of. So he's mowing some a couple of days before they go in it and then as they go in they eat that preferentially over the fresh stuff and it just seems to help them on that transition. We know about the importance of making sure there's roughage so hay in the field and salt why they need access to grass in that beginning of the rotation is we're just asking that rumen to adapt to a different feed and because lucerne can be quite a strong crop and it's really highly digestible can be quite challenging for that sheep's rumen to deal with we encourage this sort of slow and gentle transition onto it we generally say it's two weeks for that rumen to adapt the risks of grazing on lucerne you've got red gut you've got the clostridial problems, you've got bloat. It's so digestible that the contents of the rumen is actually smaller because the throughput is fast, so you can actually twist their rumen. But all those things are manageable. We're looking to integrate the livestock further within an arable system because we've got to reduce costs, we've got to improve our soil. We want to try and use legumes where we can, reducing our nitrogen inputs. It's everything really. Even though it's a difficult thing as an enterprise to quantify a sheep system within an arable system, all the benefits that it brings, it feels the right thing to be doing. This field lab's helped David from a confidence perspective. He had the initial idea and I have, I've helped him and, and others have helped him sort of develop that idea into what he's now doing. I think going forward, we're going to stick with Lucerne. We're going to have the majority of the sheep on GS4 type multi-species lay, but just cater for that higher demand class of stock with the Lucerne. Having a greater proportion of Lucerne than that brings out problems with uh, stocking density at lambing outside, because the stocking density to keep on top of Lucerne during its growing period is so high, you wouldn't be able to lamb at that density in the spring. So you would then need other ground to lamb on and it's not efficient from you know, being a tenant farmer, we need to make use of every square metre, really. If someone was looking to get into Lucerne, the plant is amazing, but managing directly feeding it to an animal is quite tricky. I'd say it's managing that transition period of a sheep going off, say, a grass lay and, and on to Lucerne. So 
It might be that you drill a grass lucerne mix to transition them onto and then move them onto the monoculture if you choose to grow a monoculture. You've got to feed them roughage the whole time. They need that fibre in their diet. I think going through the process of this field lab has probably given me confidence to try stuff more and just give things a go. And if you can monitor the results, you can make an informed decision. So yeah, give it a try.